Hey YouTube, uh, usually I wouldn't do a video so quick or small, but apparently, me not thinking, today's Thursday, which they put, released a trailer for fucking the VR game, the Half-Life Alex, the next Half-Life game. I don't do a lot of, I don't think I've done any Half-Life videos on my actual channel, but I've played through, I've been playing, I actually I have, I have Half-Life 1, I just started doing Death Counter, I'm like a portion into the game, but I played ep episode, uh, Half-Life 2, episode 1 and 2, and I love the game. I went and did the Gnome Chomsky, where you had to bring the Gnome with you the entire section, got the achievements, it was a really fun game to do. And we're probably going to have it uh, play through on the channel here eventually. But it, it says, available March 2020. We had, uh, also, when this comes out, we're buying it. We're doing a whole a whole playthrough on this. I'm still going back to other VR games when we're doing that. Uh, but this is on Half-Life uh, website, the Half-Life own website. So let me, let me link this up. I'm a... I've not seen any of this. If you guys want to go check it out? I'll put the links down below. Are we actually fine? Is this before or after? This has to be a pre, pre sequel, right? Oh, head crab. That's the tower. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm annoyed now. Oh, oh my god. The, the graphics are fucking incredible. Huh. This has to be a pre-sequel because they're still building the goddamn tower. No! Oh my god! If I'm seeing this is this is the new game this is like Half-Life 3, but this is the next game in the Half-Life series. Fucking G-Man! Oh, <laughs> fucking Christ! Were we watching that? Because there's certain moments in there that I need breakdown. The old man that says, I'm with you, where is he? Uh, 38 seconds. I, I don't think he looks familiar. But it, it says right here, the reason why I now know it's in, it's not pre sequel. It's the next game within the the line. Is they show off her dad. When did Half Life Episode Two came out? That was like two thousand four, two thousand five. It's been what fourteen years, fifteen years since the last Half Life game. The graphics from Half Life Two Episode Two to Half Life Alex has increased so beyond the scale. This looks goddamn incredible. This looks incredible. The dad, the his, her father, because they said they got his dad. Uh, they got his her, fuck. They got her father, which that was the end of episode two. This is the game after. The father looks like in this animation. This. This cutscene, it probably is. This cutscene, the father looks like the old cutscenes of the spy. Like, this would be a different outfit for the spy in Team Fortress. This looks incredible. Just with the the VR, I get VR sickness. I can only stand about hour to three hours in the game. Three hours is pushing it. Once I hit three hours, that's when I'm about to 
vomit from of mo- movement sickness. Uh, so I'll probably be pushing my limits on this, but from what I've seen so far in this short trailer, putting your hand on something and you can use the other hand to shoot the the uh, head crab zombies. Uh, 49 is cool. I'm guessing you're, um, he, your hand, you can't move your hand because you're unlocking it. So you're only using that one hand. They, they, they say the vault. They're, they're, you're heading towards the vault. They're rebuilding the goddamn tower that we blew up in episode one, right? Half-Life 2 Episode 1, we blew up the tower. They're rebuilding the goddamn tower. It's it seems like it. Then they have this other ship, and it's 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 fucking chaos. Like, I I forgot a trailer came out or I, I would have had this out sooner. This is coming out the same day this trailer comes out. This will be I'll put this in between this and the Fortnite video. Full Metal Alchemist, I just did a review for, uh, reaction and review for 43, 44, and 45. This is probably coming right out after this, and then you get one more Fortnite video for the night. And that'll be it. And then you guys get see if these videos tomorrow. With, uh, anime reactions and manga reviews and read-throughs and that. Fucking Christ. The, the, just... It's unloaded. Throws a gun. Shoots a window. Now it's unloaded. It looks like the... When she picks up the gun, it looks, the beam that you pick it up looks like the gravity gun when you're pulling stuff in. So I'm guessing that's how it works for VR. If something's close by, you just get that beam. If you have to search for ammo by going through shelves and stuff, that would be incredible. If you can have physics, and that's just not a cutscene, if that's, you go, you're going through the shelves, like you have to scavenge through stuff... That would be incredible because it would make ammo more scarce and you would save your ammo more frequently. I'm I'm so excited. At uh one ten, one oh nine, one ten, you see a uh, head crab getting pulled up by one of the I don't mean know what those I don't mean know what those aliens are called, the tongue things. That come from the ceiling. It's getting pulled up by one of those. Those are back. Those are those have to be terrifying in VR when you get pulled. You get you start getting pulled up from the ground from one of those. Then we see the trains. The trains were iffy uh, back in episode two, episode one, and episode two. The trains were iffy because they could definitely kill you and they definitely move fast. It's the structure at 117. The stru- it looks like a cave we're going to, but they put all the metal paneling and wood to do like a circling effect to the door. That door has to have some importance to it. Yeah, actually, never mind. Because it seems like at 118, 119, when you pull the thing off the guard, you definitely have a longer range with the VR. It's like you have your own personal gravity gun. I'll advance fate. Yeah, so him alone cannot command his own faith, his own destiny at this point. So Alex has to go save. So this is not following Freeman anymore. This would be following. Alex, there has to be G-Man took took Freeman away. And that could be its own side story of getting Freeman back. That would be my guess, why Freeman is not here and we're not controlling him. I'm so hyped. I'm beyond hyped. 127, when you get that weird ship, it, it's definitely a spaceship of some kind. But what from? Then you have G-Man at the end. G... G fucking man. Oh my god. Oh my god. If we can get this weapon, we're 
doing here could change things forever. What That means there's a new weapon. There's probably a bunch of new weapons in this. But if they're trying to get a new weapon, a new... It could dwarf the gravity gun entirely if they put a new mechanical weapon that does so much more. I'm freaking out because of this. And this is only a minute 45... Minute 49 second trailer. Then you use a tool to see through the walls to see the wires and you can shift the wires into place to open or turn on electric electricity certain areas. There there has to be secrets with that when you see through a wall and you could come up to a wall. I could see them putting that that see through wall wire thing on a random wall and you set the wire and it opens up a door and it's a cake. The cake is a lie. I could see them putting Easter eggs like that in where it's in a dark tunnel. Why do why you have to go in there? Oh, there's ammo. But if you pull up this, you can open the secret door. Sorry, guys. I'm loud. I'm going to lose my voice because I'm yelling. I still have Sea of Thieves to record book finds and that. I wonder when he throws a gun and you pick it up if that's a cutscene. If it's not a cutscene, because you catch the ammo. You catch the... Whoever's playing catches the ammo clip for the pistol. If that's not and if that's not a cutscene, then that's going to be a lot of people dropping that, 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 that clip of ammo for the pistol. Otherwise, this looks for, phenomenal. I got more on the webpage we can read through. I'll share the webpage down below and the Twitter. Yeah. So if you look at the top, it says Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, then Half-Life Alex. So the next one in. On uh, March 2020, the fight against the combo Combine begins. Set be between the events of Half-Life and Half... Huh. Between... So it's not after. Set between the events of Half-Life and Half-Life 2, Alex fans and her father, Eli Mount, an early resistance to the Combines. That would make more sense, them not rebuilding the tower. But it's in between. And the father is captured. That also makes sense why Freeman's not here. Because Episode 2 is when Freeman gets back. <coughs> so they wouldn't even know where Freeman is. So this is in between. They could release the first Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and Episode 2 in this, like, remodeled graphics. It'd be incredible. And the father, Eli Mount, an early resistance to the Combine's brutal occupation, opu, occupation of Earth, the loss of the Seven Hour War is still fresh in the shadow of the rising Combine fortress known as the Citadel. Residents of City City Seventeen learn to live under the rule of the of their invaders, but among them, this scattered population are two of Earth's most resourceful scientists, Doctor Doctor Eli Vance and his daughter Alex, the founders of the Fledgling Resistance. You are Alex Vance, and you're about you're about to spark a revolution. You and your father were relocated to City Seventeen, and the years since. You have continued your Caledon's scientific activity. This must be the gravity gun. This might be the first time Alex and them have the gravity gun or make the gravity gun. This has to be the early stages of a gravity gun then. If they're talking about a really unique weapon. Performance, uh, critical research, the building... In Inevitable. Sorry, I'm really bad at words. I have speech impediment. Sorry about this, guys, if you're new to the channel. In invaluable tools for the few human brave enough to defy the Combine. Every day you learn more about your enemy. Every day you work towards finding a weakness. So you can see in the next picture, they have a their construction walls. They actually have multiple pictures through here you can switch through. <coughs> a lot of it is from the trailer, but then you have this picture of 
you with probably a health kit type thing, adrenaline. A full length game built from the ground up for virtual reality. Le lean around a broken wall and use a barricade to make an impossible shot. Rummage through shelves to find a healing syringe and some shotgun shells so you can rummage through shelves. Awesome! <coughs> Sorry. I'm losing my I'm losing I'm losing my voice. Manipulate tools to hack alien interfaces, tear a head crab off your face and throw it out the window. VR was built for the kind of gameplay that sits at the heart of Half-Life. Play on any Steam VR system, so the Valve Index, the HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, or the Windows Mixed Reality. I have the Oculus Rift. If you have VR headset that works with the computer, then it works with Steam VR. Don't yet have VR headset, now's the time. Headsets support different sets of features. Half-Life Alex was built hand-to-hand -hand with Valve Index, which is the highest... Uh, fidelity option of the on the market, but the game works with the Vive, Rift, and Window Mix Reality too. Check out the different options to choose which one is right for you. Are you own Valve Index? You're getting Half Life Alex free, plus extra content. So if you have the Valve Index, I'm not getting it. But if you have it, you get the Half Life Alex free, plus some. Here and then you simulate March 2020, you know, no need for a key. You appear in your simulate library upon release. No matter what you bought your gear, when you bought your gear, or whether you or not you have the whole VR kit, Alex is free. Gun skins and Steam VR home environments and more. So you get some neat unlocks if you have the, the Valve one. I just teleported to their site. Okay, more down. So it shows them working on the game. Community built environments available via Steam Workshops. A set of Source 2 tools for building new levels will be available for the game, enabling any player to build and contribute new environments to the community of joy. Hammer, Valve's level author, author, authority tool has been updated with all the game's virtual reality gameplay tools and components. It releases March 2020. So, let's view in Steam. So, people can make their own levels with this too. That will be cool. It is a $60 game. They have already put in the store coming March 22nd, 2020. Pre purchase Half Life Alex, $60, 10% off right now. I'm guessing because it's the, uh, the launch day of it. 10% off for right now, so it's $53.99. I'm probably going to wait and put money towards it later on, <coughs> more towards into next year, but for right now, this looks incredible. And it'd be, it, will definitely be cool to see all the game features and what is going to be within this game. Because the closer we get, there are probably more gameplay and gameplay and game trailers we'll get for it. Otherwise, those leaks that I saw earlier talking about it would be released in March 2020 was correct. That's awesome. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, give a like. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, recommend to subscribe and share with content. Otherwise, this has been Miss Crazy and signing off. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night, wherever you are. Just have a good day. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next video. And like I said, this is coming out the same day the trailer is coming out. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice, but I won't need it for that much longer. Otherwise, peace. That's not what I meant.